The grey rat snake is the largest snake in Ontario, and Canada for that matter, and is quickly identified by its shiny and overall black appearance. An indication of the blotched juvenile pattern is often retained into adulthood and may be visible throughout life. There may be white, yellow, or even red flecking between the scales. The head, large and distinct, is black on top with white on the mouth, chin, and throat. The belly may be whitish or yellowish and checkered with black spots on the forward part of the body, but becomes a clouded grey or brown further down. The scales on the back and sides of the grey rat snake are weakly keeled. That is, each scale has a faint ridge. To help identification, look at the belly scale just in front of the vent on the underside of the snake. This scale is known as the anal plate, and it is divided in this species. Baby grey rat snakes are boldly patterned with rows of dark blotches against a pale grey background. The head is also distinctly marked. Many Ontario snake species can be confused with the grey rat snake. The milk snake has smooth scales with no keel and a single undivided anal plate. The water snake has a banded pattern, a white belly with dark crescent shaped spots, and heavily keeled body scales. The eastern hognose snake has a very noticeable upturned, pointy snout. Baby eastern fox snakes are best identified by more advanced techniques, such as counting the number of belly scales. The grey rat snake occurs in two disjunct Ontario regions, the Carolinian forest region along the north shore of Lake Erie in the southwest, and the Great Lakes St. Lawrence region in the southeast. The grey rat snake is non-venomous and completely harmless to people. Some older adults are quite reluctant to bite, but always beware that any animal may defend itself. Compared to a large adult, a young snake is vulnerable and more likely to defend itself if harassed. Grey rat snakes will sometimes vibrate their tail when they are disturbed, and if vibrated in dry vegetation, the resulting sound often leads to this harmless snake being misidentified as a rattlesnake. Grey rat snakes primarily feed on small mammals, birds, and bird eggs. Large prey is subdued by constriction, using the muscular body to tightly wrap around the prey item. However, smaller, less dangerous prey and eggs are simply seized and swallowed without constriction. Grey rat snakes are skilled climbers, sometimes climbing as high as 10 meters or more, and can scale vertical surfaces such as tree trunks. After reaching maturity at 7 to 9 years of age, females lay 10 to 15 eggs in rotted stumps or other vegetation, or in shallow burrows or cavities under rocks. Eggs are laid only every 2 to 3 years throughout the female's life. This extremely low reproductive output makes the grey rat snake especially vulnerable in this rapidly changing world. Throughout the Ontario range, grey rat snakes are generally associated with deciduous forests. However, this species inhabits a wide variety of habitats, including forest and open areas, such as old fields, meadows, and rocky outcrops. The species at risk in Ontario list designates the Carolinian and Frontenac axis populations as endangered and threatened, respectively. These two populations are similarly afforded an endangered and threatened status under the Federal Species at Risk Act. Various aspects of habitat destruction and degradation have significantly impacted grey rat snake abundance in Ontario. As natural habitat is destroyed for agricultural, residential, and industrial development, rat snake populations quickly decline, especially when areas used for hibernation by the species are destroyed. As habitat is further altered by the ever-growing road network throughout the snake's range, road mortality has become a leading cause of decline. When these large snakes cross these roads, or stop to bask in the sun, they are often hit and killed by drivers both accidentally and, sadly, intentionally. Given its large size and often friendly disposition, the grey rat snake is desirable as a pet snake. Illegal collection from the wild for pets is a serious threat. The grey rat snake has many natural predators. However, certain predators such as skunks, raccoons, and foxes occur at unnaturally high numbers in Ontario due to abundant food and waste in areas where people live. We call these subsidized predators, which include dogs and cats, and they can have a devastating impact on grey rat snakes. Unfortunately, since this is a large species that often occurs in areas of high human population, irrational fear and ignorance have led to mass exterminations of this harmless snake. Additionally, the buzzing sound produced when a threatened grey rat snake vibrates its tail has prompted many uninformed people to mistake this species for a rattlesnake, which almost always leads to the snake's unpleasant demise. The grey rat snake is extremely vulnerable in Ontario, but there are ways that you can help. Watch for traffic signs posted in snake habitat. These signs are placed in areas where snakes are frequently seen crossing the road or using it to bask in the sun. Always be aware of what's on the road ahead of you, especially during the warmer months. If you see a grey rat snake on the road, and are comfortable doing so, you can help the snake off the road. Oftentimes, just approaching a snake will cause it to flee quickly. However, if the snake does not move, you can pick it up and gently carry it to safety. If the snake is defensive, or you are not comfortable handling it, you can also use a stick or other object to pick it up. 
The key to any species survival is education, and a great way to help the grey rat snake is to educate others about them. These snakes are so often killed simply due to ignorance. Explain to people that no snake should be killed out of fear. Tell others how grey rat snakes are completely harmless to people, and emphasize how slaughtering them is ultimately bad for people and agriculture because they help keep rodent populations in check. Try to get involved in grey rat snake conservation by contacting organizations working on the species. It often takes some effort, but there will always be opportunities for dedicated individuals to offer help. Visiting protected areas within the species range to inquire about grey rat snakes in Ontario is a great starting point. This majestic animal desperately needs all the help it can get, and time is running out.